Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC. In the previous episode we kind of established the second planetoid and today it's probably time to explore this a little bit and hopefully also grab some oil from this planetoid. Gossman actually just made another skill point, so I'm gonna put that into improved carrying too. You can also have an improved cap. And then as for Turner, I think I'm actually gonna do the same thing. We now have established the base, therefore also established the morale. Actually thinking about it, we might want to go into super duper hard digging before that. So we actually have the possibility to dig through all the terrain there. Okay, now the problem is, this is very hot here, and I would like to introduce Atmo suits into this world. Now, I thought about this for a little bit, and I figured why not actually send someone over with an Atmo suit and then just leave the Atmo suit here. I mean, that should be possible, right? If we actually go ahead and build an Atmo suit, let's say one out of copper, I just want to know if I can assign this to anyone. Yes, Ari, do my bidding, you can do it! There we go, we have an Atmo suit, and look at that, we can indeed assign the Atmo suit. So, why don't we go ahead and take nails, for instance, you're gonna grab that. Uh, come on, I wanna see this happen. Nails? Uh, oh, no, 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 she's not picking it up at all. Docking exosuit. Oh no, she's in an infinite loop. Okay, that's not good. In this case, we have to do it a little bit more complicated. So I'm guessing let's unassign the suit here and then, hmm. Let's see, the teleporter is right over here. What if we did something like that and set up a temporary exosuit station? Though I feel like this should be possible in a different way. What if we take Ruby, for instance, and we bring her over here? So now she's got the suit, and then I'm gonna tell her to um, stay here and disable this building. Uh, no, ah, darn it. Ashkan, do you want to do the honors? All you have to do is disable this building without getting back. Yes, okay. So now Ashkan still has the suit on. We're then gonna move him over there, and yeah, okay, still the suit on. Very good, okay, 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 so let's go ahead and enable this building again. Mm -hmm. And all I want from Ashkan is to get in here with the suit. Amazing, okay, we did it. Let's teleport him, and there we go, there he is. Unequip the suit, Ashkan, wait, 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 wait. Oh, right there, right there is the button. Nice, and now we have an Atmo suit in this world. Isn't that just absolutely fabulous? What you want to do though, Ashcan, is you go directly back into the other world. Wonderful. So in the future, we will be able to repeat this procedure. And now all we want is to sweep up this suit and we want to deliver it to the dock we took it from. Wonderful. This should now allow us to set up a checkpoint here with an Atmo suit dock. Uh, let's see, the temperature is good here. We are also gonna need additional power. Hopefully we have enough of that. Looks like we do. We're gonna need a pump that I'm gonna set up here with a pipe, actually two pipes. Uh, we wanna filter out oxygen. So gas pipe center, we're gonna have a vent, we're gonna have some automation, namely a knot gate and, oh, do I have the materials? Yes, I do. Hook this all up and then let's continue with the piping. So that should be going over here. Let's actually go down so we can easily build it. Great, that is going to make it so much easier to actually get to the oil reservoirs and maybe explore a little bit further down. Wonderful. Also, we have a new duplicant. Let's see if we can use them. Branching, building, doctoring, digging. Hmm, right now I don't have enough calories. I think I'm going to go for the barbecue care package. Ah, wonderful. Sometimes I just like to watch them build stuff, do their thing. They do a really good job, I have to admit. Anyways, time to keep on exploring a little bit. I want to know what we can find here in terms of volcano. And then we are gonna keep on going here, just revealing more and more of the map. Actually, let's maybe move down here at this point and then we can go ahead and do a little auto harvest. I think that might not be the worst of ideas in terms of getting more food. Ah, wonderful. Looks like we're done here pumping the gases. That is good news. So we can get rid of all of that. Get rid of those pipes. Don't need them anymore. And all we need is to expand this oxygen gas pipe a little bit. So we're gonna bring this over here and then we're gonna fill up this room with oxygen as well. 
Oh, we're actually also done with the upstairs room, so we can go ahead and take this apart as well. However, what we want to keep doing is pumping in the chlorine. Not that the Sweetles actually need the chlorine, but this is a good way to, you know, store it in a room. I don't see a reason at this point why actually not to. So we're yet gonna need another setup. Let me actually go ahead and cancel this. Yeah, we wanna kind of keep that in place. Then we take some wire, bring that to the pump. And in terms of automation, we're gonna do the exact same setup. We need a gas vent and a sensor, etc, etc. You know how that goes. Not gate and some wiring. Before I forget, we should go ahead and set this to oxygen here. Otherwise, it's gonna start pumping and we are gonna regret it. Same thing right here. I want to make sure they built the element sensor right away. In here, we want to filter out chlorine. And if it is chlorine, then we are not going to open up this vent and therefore fill up the chlorine here. This way, we will be able to get rid of it a little bit in this world. Good times. With the exosuit in mind, I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently. We don't need to be this careful anymore. And also, in terms of research, we might actually want to dive into that a little bit more. Let me see, is there like an oil thingy-mabob? Yeah, the oil well and polymer press. We need both of those, some generators and the oil refinery as well. So, good stuff. In the previous episode, I mentioned the dwindling polluted dirt. And I think that holds true. I totally forgot the number, but I think it was like 39 tons. And I kind of was thinking about a makeshift solution for the time being. All we need is a pump right here. And then we need to bring over some water to a... Uh, let me see. Did we actually discover this already? No, we need to go back into research. Hmm, should we do the oil stuff first? Yeah, we still have a little bit of time. But after that, we want to dive into some proper oxygen production. We can actually already prepare it. All I need is to remove this pitcher pump unless I'm actually able to place the liquid pump here. No, this is in the way. Hmm, this is not very good. Maybe we're not gonna do that, but we're gonna take apart this. I think that is more reasonable. Now, we should still be able to pick everything up. That is good, but we can also, but we can also place down a pump. Now, how are we gonna route this? I'm actually gonna hijack this pipe right here. We don't technically need this or that anymore for now. And what we're gonna do is continue the pipe along here and bring it somewhere over to this side of the base. And what I'm gonna do is simply collect the hydrogen somewhere on top of the map. Yeah, we're simply gonna set up some tiles over here. So the hydrogen is gonna have the possibility to travel over and actually fill up this part here of the map. This should be the top portion. So we're gonna set up a couple of tiles here and a couple of tiles there. Uh, actually, we're gonna leave those be. Hmm, should we just collect it over here? I mean, what I'm after is the electrolyzer splitting water into oxygen and hydrogen. So the oxygen can be in the base and the hydrogen is going to go up to the top of the map where we can use it for a little bit more power. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. However, I'm also going to need another deodorizer here on the top. Want to get rid of everything in terms of polluted oxygen. We can also already go ahead and prepare a little power transformer here. Conductive wire input slot and then we take normal wire to get out of there. And then we bring this all the way over here. Should be good. Oh, 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 hold on. We're actually done here. Don't need this anymore. Almost forgot about that liquid lock. Hmm, looks like we need a little bit more algae. And food is also always a problem in this second planetoid. Maybe we are gonna do some more harvesting in this area. In terms of algae, I should still find enough on the map in order to keep going for a little bit. So maybe we are gonna keep on digging or expanding into this direction. Grabbing some more algae from here. There we go. We found the supply teleport input. Wonderful. So I'm guessing the input is what we are going to use in order to get materials into the main world. So all we want to do at this point is get over here. Carbon dioxide. We can do that. Um, yeah. And then we need a ladder and continue all the way over to our teleporter. Ah, this is going to be wonderful, though. We need to power this in some way or the other. Also, let's take apart the... Glass panels allowing for a third solar panel. Looks like we found ourselves a normal volcano in this spot. Not really what I was hoping for, but alas, we cannot have everything. Main thing is we get some more algae in the joint, so we don't also have to take care of the oxygen problem in this world. And then in the meantime, we can take care of a little platform here. As soon as we've researched the next thing, namely the oil well, we can go after the electrolyzer. 
Oh no, I accidentally took apart the power transformer here. Of course, that was not my intention. There we go. This room is already filled up with oxygen, so we will be able to take apart the contraption we have going on here. Just this little extra bit of oxygen. It's actually really complicated to take care of two worlds at the same time. I wonder how that's gonna turn out once we establish a third world. Uh, hold on. Is this already in place? Yeah, we have ox- Why aren't you building this checkpoint, please? Can you- uh, I mean, your priorities, guys, are all over the place. Just do that. Oh, looks like we found the second teleporter room as well. So we need to have access to that too. Let me check the temperatures here. That's not temperatures. So temperatures are still okay in this area, which means we're simply gonna go ahead and ladder down. So ladder all the way to this point, grab some more of that precious copper on the way, definitely. And we're actually also gonna dig into the other direction so we can finally do something about this room. Grab some more of these tiles. They're actually also made out of copper, so I'm assuming we get 100 kilograms of copper from those as well. Deliver a suit, please, as well. We have the suit right up there. Do we have an errand going for this? No, let's sweep it, maybe. We're already filling this up. I just love how this is going right now. We have the power and everything, which means we can keep on building and digging. Um, let me see. This is gonna be complicated. Yeah, we need to set up a room that will contain the natural gases we are producing from this. And then we're gonna need a pump set up and everything. There are three oil wells that we could tap into. We will also need a steady supply of water to actually bring to the oil wells and produce oil. Hmm, yeah, so maybe there's gonna be a little bit more to this build than I first anticipated. Another thing I want to set up in terms of food is an egg cracker. I think we can really use that. And we got another blueprint. We, um, hmm, ranching. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Bristle berries. Joshua finally earned his skill point. I'm so glad about that. Uh, you are gonna get into grilling now and you also get a hat. Gossman actually also has another skill point and I'm tempted to put that into improved strength. Research completed, we got the oil well, etc. Now it's time for the electrolyzer. Wonderful, here's the teleporter output. Yeah, we're definitely bringing items from the other world into this teleporter. This is actually really good news, because obviously that is gonna allow us to transfer materials between the worlds and kind of help each other out. Joshua already started cooking. What the heck are you even cooking at this point? Ah, some barbecue, wonderful. Oh, electrolyzer is already completed. Holy cow, that actually went fast. So now I will have to activate both of these teleporters using my research guide. Also, if we check in the other world, where is our teleporter? Um, one of them is right here. This is the input. Where is our output? Hmm. Wait a second, did I not discover this yet? Don't tell me it's in an area that we haven't discovered yet. This is... I totally did not think about that. Hmm, it's not in here, that's for sure. Okay, I guess I'm gonna dig a little bit over here and check out what we can find on this portion of the map. But I'm not hopeful it's actually over there. It might be here at the bottom too. So another direction we could dig into is this one. Yeah. Anyways, with our electrolyzer in the chart, we're gonna set this up right here. Make sure that we get the piping in there. And also make sure this got some power. So water is coming in, then we get some oxygen. We also get the hydrogen that's moving up here. Let's maybe make sure this is being built really quickly here so we can trap the hydrogen in a reasonable way. Once again, you guys have been right. We need to move the carbon dioxide into a more logical place. I'm actually gonna set up a couple of gas reservoirs here. And we might want to hurry up with that a little bit. So let's go ahead and do something like that. And then we want to move that upstairs and combine it with this pipe. Um, so we don't need that connection anymore. And now we need to bring down the carbon dioxide as soon as possible before it starts to condensate. So I'm actually gonna leave this pipe intact just for a little bit so we can hijack this pipe. And that means all we need is a connection right here and we should be able to yeah we should be able to bring this down in no time all i have to make sure is that we build this as soon as possible uh okay i kind of deserve this we totally messed this up ah no this is below the condensation point uh, i'm so unhappy maybe we have the possibility to pick some of that up and bring it downstairs 
But yeah, that was a total waste of precious carbon dioxide. I'm so sorry you had to witness that. At least we can save a little bit of it and right here it should also be hot enough for it not to condensate. Ah, I guess it's actually the other way around. Items are coming in from the other world in this teleporter and the output is to bring out the materials. So that is good news because I found the input in my world here. Let me see, did we explore a little bit more? I wonder where the output is, man. Ah, it's actually right down here. Wonderful. Okay, we discovered that as well. So let's go ahead and dig our way down there. We're also gonna grab some more glass while we're at it. Actually, it looks like we're getting the food problem under control, slowly but surely. Um, we have enough beds, enough mess tables. Yeah, I think those guys can consider themselves lucky. There is a fourth and a fifth oil reservoir. This is actually insanity. I have five oil reservoirs. Wow, we're not going to be struggling with oil, that's for sure. We're going to be struggling with natural gas. Actually, we should be able to use that in order to generate some more power. Actually, I might just go ahead and take the natural gas, put it into this machine as well. Take it to produce power on my main world. Finally, the pump is running. We're pumping some water all the way to the electrolyzer, which already has the power. Wonderful. So the breathability in this place is going to improve in no time like this. Great stuff. All right. So hydrogen, let's have a look at that. Gases. Some of it is going to go over here, but most of it we will be able to trap in this pocket. So if we set up a pump right here, this should be no problem at all. Can I take this apart maybe? Oh no. I just hate all of these things that you cannot take apart. I don't see a reason for that to not be possible. Oh man, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cheat those guys away at some point. Anyways, time to set up a pump. We're also gonna go ahead and set up a gas sensor right here at the bottom in order to enable the pump. And actually, that's the wrong type of pump. Obviously, we want a gas pump. There we go. We then wanna pipe down the hydrogen and just in case that's actually not working out, we are gonna vent some stuff here. So we're gonna check for hydrogen here as well. If it is hydrogen, we want to close the vent, so we're going to need a knot gate. Then we're going to pump things down to this level. We're going to set up a hydrogen generator. Did we unlock that already? No? Oh, man. Hydrogen generator. Wait, we did unlock it. So it's just me being blind, but there we go. We're going to place that right there. Hook it up to the hydrogen. Hook it up to our main power system. Let's do that with iron. And sure, some of it is going to be a little bit of a waste since we always have full batteries. Hmm, maybe we set up a smart battery here to counteract that. Smart battery on the other side is something we still have to unlock, so I'm going to do that. In the meantime, I'm going to be digging down here a little bit. I think we can free up some space here as well. Then we hop over and we are going to go ahead, give us access to this other oil well. Hmm, yeah, I'm guessing in the beginning this is gonna be quite a struggle with all the extra natural gas we are getting, but we will figure out a good solution. Wonderful, this is gonna help us out a lot. Yeah, I think it was about time. Wanna detect some hydrogen with both of these sensors. Um, hydrogen, right there. Naturally, we only want the pump running as long as we have hydrogen available to us. Gonna need another power transformer here, actually. Move this over there and then get myself a cheap cable into the pump. Oh, what are you doing, Jean? <laughs> That's the craziest pathway to actually take apart this pipe, man. No wonder you guys are complaining about long commutes. You should also be complaining about stupidity. It's actually now time to enable this building again since we have mud, though we don't have polluted mud. Hmm, interesting. So that's not really gonna help us. What we need is a cozy temperature here with our polluted water and then we need to introduce that here. In order to get more cozy temperatures, maybe let's just smet up some more steel and actually get this water in the joint. And I would say as soon as it is above, let's say 15 degrees, we are gonna introduce it to our polluted water pool. Oh, actually I just see, we still have 34 tons of polluted mud, so we do not have to worry with that. Research is completed. Now, I'm not sure if that is a really good idea. We might not use up the hydrogen quick enough, but I'm going to introduce the battery right there. And then we also need to take some automation wire and bring this over here. So that means as soon as the battery threshold is full, this is going to stop working. And when we are below the threshold again, or at least the lower threshold, then the hydrogen generator should kick in. This way, we might do a better job using the hydrogen to its full potential. 
Looks like we got rid of a whole bunch of chlorine in this area. This is absolutely wonderful. This also means right now we can go ahead and take this apart again. My chlorine room right here is completely full. That is good to know. Let's go ahead and get rid of everything here. All right, wonderful. I feel like at this point we have almost everything prepared. Oh no, we're getting some steam in the joint here. That is probably not good. Yeah, we're gonna have to be really careful about this. 116 degrees already. Maybe we set up a bunch of insulated tasks just to be sure. So I wanna make sure as little heat as possible is actually getting through this. But yeah, in the next episode, we're gonna tap into the oil reservoirs. That is gonna be a project on its own. Then we bring everything over to the teleporter over here. We still need to introduce our research guy in order to unlock both of these things. And then right here we have the oxygen production under control. We can still produce enough polluted water, I think, with the sludge press. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with what we have achieved today. And the path for oil and all its pleasures, such as plastics, has been laid down for us for the next episode. But with that out of the way, we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Don't forget to support the video as much as you can and also subscribe for more Oxygen Not Included content. Thank you so much, have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye bye.